Everybody, Darren Slaughter, DarrenSlaughter.com. Hope you're having a great year so far in 2017. I hope you had a great 2016. Um, today, I just want to talk about the way people use your business and the way people use your services and your products and the things that you do and how people interact with you. I'm going to give you a great example of a not so great user experience in working with Apple. Now, I have the brand new iPhone 7 Plus, which has a great camera if you guys are looking for a way to take pictures of your work. But um, I have the brand new iPhone 7 Plus, and I have a brand new MacBook Pro 15 inch. And I sit here and I use my phone for calls and shoot videos and the normal stuff you use a phone for. And I use my Mac to shoot videos and type and write blog posts and do work and all the other things that you think uh, you would use a laptop for. When I weave in between in and out of those two devices, in the old days, when I had my old MacBook and when I had my iPhone 6, I would simply just take my earbuds and I would just interchange them from one two and a half millimeter jack to another three and a half millimeter jack, whatever it is, from one to another. And I would seamlessly just go from one call to another call. And sometimes I'll use Skype on the computer, and sometimes I'll just use the regular phone. Um, and you just pl unplug something, and you plug something in. Well, here's the little thing that's driving me crazy these days. This is a dongle that you need to use to connect these earbuds to your phone. And when you want to go back to using your computer, you have to now unhook this and just plug it into the computer. Um, I don't know about you, but you, you probably, it's probably not as much of a pain in the ass for you it's because you're out swinging a hammer or using a saw. And there might be you know, a utility or, or a device that you use in your day-to-day -day that drives you just as crazy as this does. But this really drives me insane because I'm back and forth a hundred different times in a hundred different ways. So it's a pain in the ass. It's a bad user experience for Apple. So much so that I'm thinking the more you push me away from the continuity and the way that you have integrated all of your products together and made them seamless in the past, you're now making me kind of rethink, well, maybe it's time to use another phone or maybe it's time to use another computer. And... Um, once that bug gets put in somebody's ear, they start kind of looking, keeping one eye open for what's out there. That happens to you too. Um, unless you can create a way to have a seamless interaction with you, and what I'm primarily talking about here is offering financing. And if you're not offering financing and you're doing major remodeling projects, you have to understand that you are selling high-end, high-dollar, high-value products and services to probably middle-class people who don't have the equity in their homes that they used to have or don't have the ability to just put $30,000 for a kitchen or on a credit card. You have to give them a way to pay for this stuff. And it's a bad user experience when you sit down and you go through the sales process to sell somebody a kitchen, and you get to a yes, and then you say, well, you got to go find financing on your own. When they do that, they're keeping an eye open for other options. Don't let them have an eye open for other options. Make sense? Get rid of the dongles in your business in 2017. That's my point. Have a good one.